for clients that have a vision about a concept that they want to explore, very often the process is about taking their ideas and their goals and bouncing it back and forth in a sort of improvisation so that we can come up with very practical building solutions that are not only solving problems for today, but are visionary and have ramifications in terms of how we see the future going. Very often I have clients who are coming to me and they might be someone who has a concept within their company that they want to explore, or they have a building or a space that they want to explore what else it could be, what it could turn into, or a test fit for a possible location, or even a new business that is just trying to figure out what they want to do. What's the concept for this vision of their specific way of looking at the world? And in all of those cases, it's really about taking the ideas and the goals and really just through conversation and analysis and using my experience and expertise doing this type of work, creating visionary projects, combining work and play for over 20 years now, you know, what do we come up with on the other end of that after we go back and forth? What can we come up with that is representative of the goals of your company and sort of has enough of the input and checks boxes from whoever is a stakeholder in your company doing the thing they need it to do, while also being visionary and forward thinking and allowing it to be part of your business and the engine for your business that thrives. The spaces that we create for businesses, that is the engine for growth if you're a company that is using physical space and locations and environments as the way that you bring people in and have them use your spaces and create revenue. So how we go about taking input from all the different stakeholders and turning it into a concept that is singing the same song on so many different levels, that is exactly the synthesis that we do together. And that's why that's the word, because there's so many different people who are competing for space. I always say that whether or not it's a very large pie or a very small pie, everybody's competing for the slice that they need. Probably it's going to be asking for more than what they can actually get. And very often that's what a lot of my job is, is someone might have a very strong idea or maybe just some sort of scattered ideas about we need to solve this problem or we need to address this part of the market or whatever it is. We're just a vision for, hey, we think that's cool. We would like to do something similar or we have a gap in what we offer. Maybe we could fill it in one of these different ways. Whatever the case is, by taking all of these different parts of the gumbo and discussing it and analyzing it and filtering it and really understanding what it is we're trying to do with the project we can come up with very practical solutions that are tied to numbers, both in terms of investment, revenue, and what we see on the other side, as well as the building cost of itself. You know, all of these numbers are critical when you're actually talking about a business. And the more sort of dialed in your business is, the more likely you're probably not going to want to just start spending wildly on something that isn't understood and proven. And that's why we do it this way, because that synthesis is what's key. And so my role coming in and talking with people who have ideas, whether it's a founder or a CEO or someone who's running a department or has been tasked with this, a lot of times the material that we come up with is used to present to the board, to present to potential investors, to present to other people within the team, to share with the wider world when we want to get the vision out there to get reaction, whatever the case is, it's about creating visuals and development material that supports the vision, can be discussed in a way that makes sense for the company. So you can address concerns within different departments, within different stakeholders that you might have, whether they're investors or partners or, or whoever it might be. It's not that we can get everything perfect and solve every problem to the same degree, but figuring out how to synthesize and balance things and be able to say, look, I know that you wanted 10 of these. I could only fit in eight. We can try this. Or, hey, if you want 10, you need to show me financially how this works better for you, why it's going to make sense, why we should allocate more space to your division compared to somebody else. You know, even being able to prompt people within your own team so that they can actually do their own homework and sort of arbitrate, you know, who gets more of the pie. 
And that is really what this is all about, because when we have a clear vision of that and a clear sort of brief that we come up with, then we can really draw it up and see what it looks like and focus on not only hitting the, the targets and the reality of today, but also really thinking about what we want the future to be. You know, what do we want this thing to be? Leaving room and realizing that it's almost impossible to get that right. So what is it, what are the trends? What are the things that we care about? What is it that we want to invest in in the future or sort of kernels that we want to, you know, seeds we want to plant and let them develop over a longer period of time? So how are we doing what we need to do today while also setting the stage and creating the environment and the backdrop for what you're going to be in the future? And this is a mix of a lot of things. It's a mix of the trends we're seeing in how people interact with third spaces, with the balance between life and work, co-working spaces, you know, different forms of play and sport, you know, family dynamics and kids. And it, you know, it's all these different things that are specific to what your vision is. How do we combine these things? Which of these pieces do we put together to actually create the right gumbo that we can synthesize together, come up with a very specific plan of what we want to do, visualize that and be able to present it in a way to get buy-in from your key stakeholders, whoever they might be, whether that's somebody who may be giving you money for the project or the CEO that you're presenting to, whatever the case is, all of this material and these visuals are a tool to move projects forward. It's not just pretty pictures. And because I don't really care about pretty pictures if they're not actually going to have a good chance of surviving and making it down the road. So that's why we have to talk numbers and we have to check at least that we are playing by the right rules so that we're not just going to hit a hard stop when it comes to actually budgeting the thing and it just has to stop or go off the rails. So understanding enough of these different aspects so that when we present something that has a real vision behind it, it's also very real even at an early stage. And so that's to me what synthesis is, and that's the process that I go through with clients and what I've seen works really well over the years. Thanks for watching and reach out if you'd like to talk about your project.